In this video, you're going to learn what data spam is inside Google Analytics and the quickest ways to remove spam and make your data more accurate. Referral spam or data spam is basically where we're finding fake data created by bots generally coming into our Google Analytics reports. Um, so you may have seen this one. This is on the referrals report here and you can see just a whole range of strange looking websites showing up inside this report. So we can see we've got floating share buttons, traffic to cash, get free social traffic and so on. Um, the giveaway here on some of them is that the average session duration is zero, even though there's you know 100 or 200 uh, sessions coming in from these particular referring uh, sites. So it's really just fake traffic showing up inside Google Analytics. So this is the number one spot where we're going to see fake data inside Google Analytics. But I also wanted to highlight that it does show up inside other reports. So if we actually come in, for example, to the audience report, and if we come under geo and language, we can also see spam data showing up inside this report. So here we can see we have uh, secret google.com and we've got um, this other strange uh, language code coming up inside Google Analytics. You'll also find it though in other places as well. So if you actually come, for example, if we come into um, say the browsers, we can actually find that too under technology, browser and operating system. Um, so coming down here, we can see we've got uh, Google.com showing up, which doesn't even make sense. Um, you'll also find uh, data spam inside the events reports, uh, the host names reports, the pages reports, and even in the campaigns and keywords reports. So it will show up in a number of different areas inside Google Analytics. So really the question is, well, how do I remove this spam um, from coming into my reports and really skewing my data? I'm going to cover four quick tips for cleaning up your data spam and referral spam from Google Analytics. So number one is using an include filter. And what we're going to be doing there is we're going to be only including traffic where it's actually seen as coming from or originating from our actual website's domain. Number two is using source filters. There's a couple of approaches. One, you can manually look through your referrals report and add them in, or you can also make use of an open source list of known uh, spam referrals. So we'll actually look at that as well. Number three, using a language filter to clean up the data spam that we saw inside the languages report. And number four, finally, is enabling bot filtering, which is an option that we can set inside the reporting view. So let's um, head into the admin section and we'll look at what we can do. So if I click on admin on the bottom left hand corner, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come into the reporting view and I'm clicking on filters. So here currently I can see I don't have any filters at all set up. So I'm going to click on add filter. And in this particular case, I'm going to create a new filter to only include my particular domain, which means the tracking code loading from my domain, that data being collected, will be included inside my report. So I'm just going to create this filter now. So I'm going to click on Include, and I'm going to select Host Name. And now I can put in my filter pattern. So just putting in lovestarter.com will just include traffic coming in off this website. And you can see there I'm escaping the full stop because this is actually a regular expression. Now I also wanted to highlight, if you do have your tracking code and you expect it to load across multiple domains, then you can certainly add that into your regular expression. So for example, my site, can be loaded on lovestarter.com. I also have a tracking code, for example, on youtube.com, um, eventbrite.com, and teachable.com. So I can actually add this into my regular expression here to make sure I'm including all the instances of where my tracking code is actually expected to load. So now I've added that in, and I'm using the regular expression to create or statements. And now I can save this filter. So that's the first step. This is the number one thing that we should be doing to exclude referral spam and uh, data spam showing up inside Google Analytics. Uh, next up, we can add in source filters. And what this is going to do is to remove the spam that we saw inside the referrals report. So I'm just going to create custom. And this time I'm going to go with an exclude filter. And I'm going to go on source.
and now I can enter in the particular domain name. So again, uh, this is the top one that we saw inside the referrals report, so floating share buttons. So I can now exclude this uh, traffic from showing up inside my reports. And because this is a regular expression, I'm escaping the special characters. I can now use the referrals report to identify additional sources to add in to my exclusion. And that would be a manual process. My other tip is you can make use of an open source list of spam referrals. So you can actually just open this up. You'll find the link in the video description. And you can actually make use of this list to create filters as well. So that can help speed up your filtering of referral spam showing up inside Google Analytics. So next up, I want to show you how to add in a language filter to remove the language spam we saw earlier. So I'm just going to head back into Google Analytics and I'm going to click on filters and now I'm going to click on add filter. Now I'm going to name the filter. And I'm selecting custom and I'm going to exclude based on language. and now I'm entering in my regular expression. And what this particular regular expression does is it's actually going to remove any language codes that are longer than 13 characters. So it's going to remove the spam that we saw previously inside the language report. And this tip comes via Mike Sullivan, so a great way to clean up our reports. We can now click on Save. Uh, from here, the final thing that I'll want to do is to actually exclude bot traffic from showing up inside Google Analytics using the View Settings. So I can just click on View Settings at the top, and then I can just make sure I have Exclude All Hits from Known Bots and Spiders checked, and I can save this setting. And what this means is that the Google Analytics team will automatically apply uh, filters to remove any known bots and spiders. And the Google Analytics team, of course, don't want spam showing up inside our reports, making them less valuable, less useful for us. So they're working really hard behind the scenes as well to make sure that uh, this bot and spider spam traffic is not showing up inside our reports. So there are four tips for removing spam traffic that you can apply to your own Google Analytics accounts right now, super quick um, to set up and start cleaning up your data. So that's how we can remove spam from Google Analytics. Tell me how you're coping with data spam. Let me know and leave your tips in the comments below. If you thought this video was helpful, then please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.